Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today our word is going to come from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. And I just want to read this to you and then I'm going to kind of expound on it a little bit here. It says, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. So what I love about this thought right here in the book of Hebrews is how it really is telling us God has spoken to us through the prophets of old. And now he obviously now he speaks to us through his son, but his son really is throughout the whole thing. And we understand that. But I love how he ties that into uh, he makes sure we understand who he was. Right. That he was the heir to all things and that he is the one who framed the world. He's the one who made the world. Now, why is that so important to us? Well, because I hear people sometimes asking, how do I know if it's God? I'm sorry, guys. Hold on one second. My uh, my echo is going off. Echo, stop. Anyway, so how do we know that it was God who was speaking? How how do I know when God is talking to me? How can I hear from God? I hear people say this all the t- time to me or something along those lines. Well, I'm going to tell you how. Is his son speaking to you? Well, I don't know. What does Jesus' voice sound like? Well, I'll tell you what his voice sounds like. He said there that he made all the worlds. When do we see the son making all the worlds? Well, of course, we can go back and break down the words in Genesis chapter 1 and the Elohim. But honestly, directly quoted, John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and all things were made by him. Right? And so here's the point. The word is the son, and the word is the voice of God. And so what I love about this and and how we can hear from God is very simple. His word. Well, I'm I'm asking God questions and I want to know whether or not I should do this or whether or not I should do that. Well, first and foremost, does it go in direct contradiction to what the word of God would tell you to do? Is it is it contrary to God's counsel and to what his Bible, what the Bible says? Because if it is, then it's not God. God's not going to ever tell you to do something that his word doesn't tell you to do. So that's one way we can obviously hear from God. We can hear from his son through the word. Well, then the son also gave us what? His spirit. Right? Well, what does the spirit bring? Brings joy, uh, love, joy, peace, long suffering. He leads us into all truth. So we can look at those things and go, well, now wait a minute here. Is my decision going to be the most loving decision? Usually most loving thing is the most self-sacrificing thing. Right? Is it is is it going to bring joy to everyone or to all, the whole situation, for lack of better terms? Is it going to bring peace? Is it going to be? Does that understand what I'm saying? Am I being long suffering in these things? But in addition to that, is the Spirit leading us into that truth? Well, what's the truth the Spirit would lead us into? Again, He would not contradict the Word of God. If God said it such, then that's what it is. So my point in sharing this with you this morning is a lot of people act like it's so hard to know what God wants. No, what's so hard is to submit to God's will. And his will is written out plainly for us in the word of God. And I can tell you that the problem is that most of us want God to exercise or God to conform to our will instead of us conforming ourselves to his. And that's what makes it so hard to want to hear from God or to hear God because we don't listen to his will. What would his will be in this situation? Not what our desires are, not what our heart is, not what our our, our thing is, his will. So I encourage you, just think about that. Chew on that a little bit, guys, because this is some of the ways that we'll hear from God. There's other ways that we can hear from God as well, but sometimes it comes from the counsel from a brother or sister in Christ, or so many times it's just something you're listening to in a sermon and God speaks directly to your heart. There's all sorts of different ways like that. But the point of the matter is, is nothing ever is going to go outside and contradict his word. And it's always going to be that thing that is just like the Savior, the part that is not our will, the Father's will be done. So I hope this encourages you today. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.